Oh, you guys want to see where we parked? Oh, yeah. We're in Africa. <laughs> this. Wait for it. What? 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 Hi, good morning. Your yeah, ink's on your face. This place is pretty much like Africa, but here. If you saw one of our earlier videos for Avelyn's first birthday, we celebrated by having her see some giraffes, but this is so much better so what we're going to do today. Giraffes, like they're coming to us. To Woo! Our Usually Avelyn's in a car seat right here, but today we're just going walking speed and Nelly wants front row seat as well for what's about to happen. It's reminding me a little bit of Jurassic Park. Yeah. Did you hear like this? Her sign for dog. For dog. Those aren't doggies. So right now we got a. Oh, busting out. I'm not very good at it. Here we got a. Well, we got to get closer to some animals so I can talk about them. Are you ready for this moment of your life? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna drop some pellets. You ready for this? Here you go. Feed them, baby. This is so cool. The ultimate safari-like experience in the U.S. Our kitchen right here. Bed and we are surrounded now. <laughs> the cool thing about the Fossil Rim Wild Preserve here is they don't control the animals. The whole goal of this place is to just, how many acres is it? We're about 1,800 acres. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the purpose here is to help them know what life would be like even out in the wild. They actually help animals prepare to go back. You know, not all of our species are, are capable of being released back into the wild because some don't have a release component to it. Certain aspects of what's happening to them in the wild are still happening. So like with white rhinos, we wouldn't send white rhinos back because the poaching is still an issue. And one of the reasons we were really excited to show you guys this place, it's in Texas, south of Fort Worth. I love the efforts that they're putting into preserving animals and species. So like the scimitar horned orcs, they were about to be extinct, right? They were extinct. They'd been extinct for probably 30 years in the wild. Now there was a lot in captivity. And, and that's one of the things, that's something we feel really strongly about here because that is sort of what we do for as long as I've been here we always talk about you know wouldn't it be a shame if the habitat were there and yeah. uh, the motivation were there but there were no animals one of the things foster Rim does is have large collections of animals we have a lot of sable antelope a lot of scimitar horned oryx and the goal is if we can make it uh, a safe place if it's if it's good for reintroduction yeah then that's what we want to be involved with do you see them oh my gosh okay this is unreal <laughs> okay, she's getting excited. We have gotten to the giraffe, so this is unreal. Oh no, oh no, come back. Come back. <laughs> oh, she wants the giraffe over so bad. Like the only animal she's been excited about. They'll come, Avi. They'll come. Come on. I'll feed you a snack. This is unreal. You want to work here, huh, Nels? Yeah. This is what we came for. Obviously to, to show the species that was extinct that they brought back, but Avelyn loves giraffes. She just keeps grabbing pellets and throwing them on the ground. Really? She wasn't holding pellets to toss to other animals, but for the giraffe, she's just like she's holding it. Come on, buddy. Make our daughter's world. Nelly's just sending all the positive inviting vibes. Here. I love you. I'm your friend. We want to feed you food. Did she just throw food on the couch? Yeah, she's like, little giraffe. The wild giraffe you just right answer. there. Everyone just pause your video and tell the giraffe to come here. <laughs> she's just checking them everywhere. Good job, she's baby. Like, come on, giraffe. Do it for me. Good job. <laughs> We're staying, buddy. We're not leaving. 
We'll be your friend. I think the giraffes just weren't uh, used to the RV, yeah. I came up close to it, you got, you saw, we got super close. Avelyn was really excited, Dell was excited, and then when I tapped the brakes, the higher pitch sound. Ah, oh, the brakes. We're now just going through a tour vehicle, which is what most people do. So if you come here through with an RV or on vacation in the area, you don't need to come in with a vehicle if you don't have one or don't want to. Just ride in one of these. It's probably even a better experience because we noticed it is already. All the animals are used to these vehicles and so they come up to you. And not only that, you just get a whole different experience. You have a guide who knows about the animals. Oh, that's true. They can tell you all about them. Baby, you ready? These are fallow deer. We have more addicts on this property than we do wild in the world. People were probably running for their lives and you know if you see an animal out there and you're you know trying to survive you're probably going to eat no matter what it is, right? So part of it was probably poaching, but part of it was just trying to survive. Fortunately, places like Foster Home Wildlife Center, we have those insurance populations so they didn't become extinct. They just became extinct in the wild. So therefore, when things calm down and get better, we can actually bring these animals back. Yeah, he's a giraffe. Here. No. It's okay, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. No. Good <laughs> And we're actually at a place where you can come and camp. And there's these cute little cabins. Little cabins. Nice. Just a cute, simple bathroom with showers. How many cabins do you have? Seven? Seven. They have seven little cabins. And there's two people you fit in it and a cot in the middle if you want. So if you guys want to party, come camp out here and then you can see animals. And it's in Texas. And it's in Texas. What? So what? Look at this giraffe licking the deer. Baby just living her best life. Good day, huh? <laughs> oh, good job. And we gotta feed this wildlife right here first. Mmm, it's good, huh? Mmm, mm. shaky, shaky. 